Hello and welcome to another Daily Dose of English. This Daily Dose of English is for Gerardo in Argentina. We were talking about the word sod this morning. Sod is a mild expletive. Expletives are swear words. Gerardo suggested that I make a Daily Dose of English about those expletives that aren't too offensive. I thought, for crying out loud, what a great idea. Because people swear all the time, don't you? Swearing is a way of releasing tension in a non-aggressive, non-violent way. Interestingly, 3% of conversations at work and 13% of day-to-day -day conversations involve swearing to some degree. Then I thought, I'm going to bloody well make this video. Interestingly, bloody is the most frequently used expletive by women and the second most frequently used by men. The most commonly used expletive by men? For the life of me, I can't remember. My research into this subject showed me that there are so many expletives that, were I to use them all, this daily dose of English would last more than a bloody week. So I decided to concentrate on the word bloody. Bloody is very common in British English. It's an essential part of Australian English. However, it's rarely used in American English. It's found in many collocations such as bloody drunk, bloody minded and bloody fool. You'll also find it used as an intensifier with almost any adjective. It's bloody hot today. There's a bloody interesting idea. I'm too bloody tired to carry on. I'm bloody thirsty. You might be offended by my use of the word bloody, but these days few people are. In the past it was thought of as a very offensive word. For this reason, other expletives were invented to disguise the word bloody. Among these alternatives, which are still in use today, are ruddy, blooming and blinking. You can substitute bloody in any ruddy way you blooming well please with these blinking words. Bloody is often used as an intensifier with other expletives. It doesn't make the utterance more offensive, but it does strengthen the impact. Bloody hell! What a bloody pillock! The man's a bloody pig! What a bloody bitch! In these instances of intensification, bloody always comes before any other expletives. Bloody can sometimes go inside other utterances, or even inside words, to give them a stronger impact too. This is called infixing. There's a bloody plane flying overhead. I mean, that's bloody annoying, isn't it? Can you hear it? How bloody inconsiderate! Bloody plain sod off. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, absolutely can become absolutely. Or someone might ask you to talk to someone you don't like. A convert bloody station with him. You must be out of your bloody mind. And Australians have a strange species of marsupial called a kanga bloody roo. There's even a drink that uses bloody, the Bloody Mary. This is a cocktail of vodka, tomato juice and spicy additions such as Worcester sauce. It's commonly believed to refer to Queen Mary I of England. And talking of royalty, even Prince Charles commented in 1989 that in England, English is taught so bloody badly. Now, if it's bloody well good enough for a prince to use, bloody's bloody well good enough for me too. I hope you bloody well enjoyed this daily dose of English, and I'll bloody well see you again soon for another one. Goodbye for now.